pulled from under the pin setter. And first thing, of course, I pulled the plug and turned the breaker off. We are going to talk about replacing a scissor. I'm leaning under here on the pin deck. We're gonna replace the scissor. Um, right here, let me try to get up in here a little closer. You can see where the main attach point of the scissor is, is right here. I believe that's a 5 sixteenths where the pivot's from. And then right here you have the attach point where it actually connects to the long rod right under here. There's a pin that sticks down, loosen the little clamp on here, this will fall down. First, we're gonna take this right here. You got this little Allen head screw underneath, goes through the top, holds this 15 16 head bolt on there. Go ahead and loosen that, take that off, and then we'll go from there. Okay, I was already doing a video on how to remove and replace a scissor and I hadn't finished the video yet and I was doing the pin finder video yesterday and I was getting in looking and saw this on my five pin scissor. Actually, that's the two pin scissor looking through the five pin deck chute. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the number two scissor out, take a look at it, see what might be wrong with it. But it looks like screws loose or the holes are really worn out so let's go see what we got okay i got under here here's the two pin scissor and there is that much play in the scissor itself i'm holding the one side steady so we definitely need to get the scissor out look at it and see what we got worn it Okay, I'm getting started here. And again, you need your 15 16 wrench. You need a good flathead screwdriver. And here's a shameless plug for Sears. Something I saw the other day on their new uh, Allen wrench sets. Everybody's got one of these, of course. But their new one actually has in here a make your own T handle. You flip the little cap up on here that I can't get one handed. Anyways. Let me open it and you put in your Allen wrench out of your set into here, close it, instant T-handle. Pretty handy. So I'm liking it. It was like $15 for the metric and the standard set. So if you hadn't got one, go look at Lowe's. That's where I found mine. But it's made by Craftsman, not Sears anymore. I don't even think we have a Sears around here anymore in Dallas. I think they're all gone now. But anyways, go get you one. It'll help. Now back to removing a scissor. Okay, I've got my 15 16 on there. And then I've got my 1 8 Allen wrench on here. And you're gonna pull it, the wrench from the seven pin side toward the 10 pin side. That'll be how you loosen up. Turn it a few times from here, bring it over here toward the 10 pin side of the head pin and do that a few times till you get it loose enough where you can just put the Allen wrench in there and turn the thing by hand. Now when you are loosening this, remember, turn the wrench first. Don't try turning it and loosening it from the Allen wrench. On the Allen head bolt here, you're gonna strip the head out of this thing. You need to turn it from above on that 15, 16 nut a few times. Then you can get this, finish turning it all the way out. And we're out and then the top should be free. Okay, now that I've got the main uh, bolt out, I'm loosening that Allen wrench on that attached piece there and it's a 3 16 Might have to put a pair of pliers on the end of that to get it if you don't have a T-handle. I like these T-handle Allen wrenches I've got from Harbor Freight. They're only about six or seven dollars a set, but of course my 3 16 is not in the drawer. So I'm having to improvise, but a 316, so loosen that up, slip that down off the shaft, and your scissors should pull right out. Now to try to get that piece pulled off the shaft there, go above, and you got the top of the pin that usually sits down on top of that uh, shaft right there. Put a flathead screwdriver in there and twist and kind of pull that up, and that'll help break the grip on the attach point on the scissor. Okay, I lifted up enough on that. I kept pulling down on that main piece right there, but pushed up on that pin that the scissor attaches to, and it finally just popped loose. Now it's completely free. I can go ahead and pull it out. 
All right, so we got our scissor out and this guy is pretty worn out here. That shouldn't have any play in it at all. So definitely the scissors are probably one of the least ever maintained items until they just absolutely break on a pin setter, I think. They might break right here at the arm after so many years, but uh, you know, pads are glued on nice. Give somebody credit whoever put them back on in 1956, unless it's been out since then, but this thing is pretty worn out right here. I've never seen one that bad before, but I haven't been working on pin setters exclusively either, so it probably is a lot worse out there, but definitely time for some new hardware and see what we can do to make that thing work a little better. Luckily out at the hangar, I have a spare moving deck. So I've got some spare scissor assemblies I'm taking off now. Got some spare buckets and stuff. I may grab a couple of those too while I'm at it. Along with gold crown ball return, some extra pin setter parts there. Got an extra gold crown masking unit, another stream lane masking unit. And I'm, oh yeah, got a spare pin deck. So I have two spare pin decks. Anyways, I'm going to get some parts off my spare moving deck and then head home and finish the repair. Alright, I am back from the hangar. I got uh, another, I got two pair of scissors off my spare moving deck assembly. And I picked up a couple of buckets while I was at it to replace a couple of them that have, they have some tears in them. They haven't been an issue, but I've got spare ones, so I might as well put them on. Look at this one here, nice and tight. The main thing is that screw right there, but this looks like original 1956, still going. Here's one I took off that I found on the two pin. It's pretty sloppy right there. Plus there's a little bit of play in these arms right here, but I'm gonna go ahead and clean this one up. Take this part, I'm gonna put some grease in here, a little grease in there, grease in here and here, and make sure the scissor pads are glued on nice. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that back in and replace a couple of buckets while I'm at it. Okay, I already set the scissor back up in place here. Got it all back together. It doesn't have to be lined up too much yet, but at least just get it back in place. Get it back in here, make it. I've got, on mine, I've got a wire that runs right across here. Make sure the scissor's sitting on top of that, not underneath it. You're gonna line it up. There's your center point right there. And then I'll get the small spacer on the bottom and then i'll put the threaded spacer through the top and then make sure the scissors free moving that it's not bound down tight once i tighten everything up and the scissor will be back in and ready to go okay what i did to help try to line things up is i got a smaller allen wrench that stuck all the way up through the hole it goes through the center of the spacer all the way through the top so that way i know i've got everything stacked pretty well and i'm going to put the screw in the bottom and try to make sure everything's lined up before i tighten things down completely Okay, I just got the main bolt put back in here and tightened down pretty good. You wanna make sure that it's free moving like this. A lot of times it can be too tight up here and you have to put a washer in on the top side of this, on the top side of the metal here, before you put in the spacer. The, there's like a big donut and then a spacer that goes top to bottom with the 15 16 head on it. But you might have to put a spacer or just a one thin washer in there to kind of give it a little extra space in the middle. But otherwise, if you tighten it down and you got free movement, you're good to go. I'll finish connecting everything up and get the pin setter running again so we can change out the buckets. Okay, I put a wrench on the top side of that spacer. I'm gonna put a slaughter head screwdriver underneath the little attach bracket there, pushed up on it, got the pin to go down inside of that. It doesn't really matter where you tighten it up on there because that spacer up there is free spinning. So just go ahead and tighten the thing back down on there once you get it all the way pushed in. You don't want to make you want to make sure you get it all the way in. You don't want the head of that sticking up and binding on something during the moving deck cycle or anything. Okay, I got my scissor back in. I want to make sure it was very loose. Shouldn't be any binding in there at all if you got it in correctly. Got the screw tightened up further through here, through the spacer is reattached, and we're ready to go back in the service. All lubed up, 
Didn't know.